All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing the concept called equation of tangent and normal. And this honestly is a beautiful concept, okay? And uh, I'm afraid that not a lot of teachers do justice with it, okay? I mean, a huge shout out to the ones who do, okay? But uh, I think this, the whole topic differentiation requires a bit of in-depth understanding, which we all lack. So hopefully once you understand, understand the concept, the whole story behind how do you find the equation of tangent and normal, it's gonna become a whole lot easier for you, inshallah. Okay, now before we do that, so first we'll give you guys a bit of an explanation, then I'll do an example, and then we'll do some more examples, okay? The more complex examples, okay? So basically, before we dive into how to find the equation and everything, let's first understand what a tangent and normal really is. Now, let's say you have this curve over here, okay? And you wanna find out the equation of the tangent at the point that I've marked, okay? Let's say that the coordinates of this point are x1 and y1, okay? So let's say the x coordinate is x1 and the y coordinate, let me just use a different color so that it's so you can distinguish them, x1 and y1, okay? So this is a point which has coordinates x1, y1, okay? So let's first see what the tangent will look like, okay? And from prior knowledge, you should know exactly what a tangent looks like, okay? It's basically a line that's touching a curve or a circle at just one point. Okay, so this is what the tangent will look like. Now we know from prior knowledge that basically when you differentiate and then when you plug in the value of x in the dy by dx function, what you end up with is basically the gradient of tangent, right? That's what we did at the very beginning, okay? So think about it. If you wanna find out the equation of a straight line, technically you need two things, okay? You have to check two boxes before you can find out the equation, number one, is its gradient, okay? It's You cannot find out the equation of a straight line without its gradient, given that it's not horizontal or vertical line, okay? Number two is the point through which it's passing, okay? And then if you think about it, as far as the point is concerned, we technically have that, okay? So we can say that, whoops, sorry about that. As far as the point is concerned, so technically we have that x1, y1, okay? Now in some cases you'll realize that we don't actually have the y coordinate, okay? Now, how do you find out the y coordinate given the x coordinate? Well, you simply take the x coordinate and you plug it back into the equation of the curve like we have been doing so far, okay? So I can say that, let's say, if this is a box that I have to check, so I can say that this box is sort of checked. Now, the other thing that's missing is the gradient, okay? Now, gradient in this case, I am going to say mt, which is m is for gradient, the letter that we use for gradient, and t is for tangent. So this box is sort of not checked right now, okay? But how do we check this box? Let's see. So first thing you do is, let's say the equation of this curve is y equals to f of x, okay? Let's say this equation, the equation of this curve is y is equals to f of x. Okay, now let's first write down step by step, well, how do you find the equation of the normal, or tangent, sorry. So first step is that you find dy by dx, okay? Or simply, f prime of x, which basically means that you differentiate the equation of the curve, okay? When you do that, you now have a function, a dy by dx function, which means that you can now find out the gradient of the curve at any particular value of x that you want, okay? So then comes step two, and that is you plug in x equals to x1 in dy by dx or f prime of x. So basically what you're technically doing is this, f prime of x1, okay? Now when you do that, you're gonna end up with a certain value. And what exactly will that value represent? That value will then be the gradient of the tangent, okay? So now finally, we can say that we have checked this box also. Now we have not only the gradient, but we also have the point, okay? Not only the point, in fact, we also have the gradient, okay? Now let's say that you were not which in most cases you will realize, let's say that you're not given the corresponding y coordinate, okay? Let's say that this is not given to you, okay? So how do you find that? Well, pretty simple. That means you can add an additional step and that is that you plug in x equals to x1 in f of x to find what? To find y coordinate, okay? So what you're basically doing is this you're basically doing f of x1, and that will be your y-coordinate. Okay, let's call this y1. So let's mark the y-coordinate here. Here we have y1, this line is not straight. 
There you go. Straight now. Okay. So now then comes the fourth and you can say the final step and that is you form an equation. Now how do you form an equation? Well, you have multiple options. Okay. Uh, one option is using y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1. Okay. So now that means y minus y1. So that will remain y1. Okay. We already have the y coordinate. M basically means that the gradient of the tangent, which we got from step two into x minus x1. And this right here will basically be your equation of tangent. Okay. Now, the question is, yes, we've now theoretically learned how to find out the equation of tangent. What exactly is the normal and how do you find out its equation? Okay. So a normal line, so the word normal is basically relative. Okay. So a normal line is basically a line that is cutting the tangent line. Okay. But is perpendicular to it. So in other words, a normal line is basically a line which is perpendicular to the tangent, okay? So this angle right here, the angle formed between the line, the two lines, okay? Not obviously the curve and the line because in an, for an angle to be formed, it has to be between two straight lines. So the angle formed between the line, the two lines here, the tangent line and the per normal line is 90 degrees, okay? So in that case, what you do is, you recall the concept of coordinate geometry, and that is, how do you find out the equation of uh, normal? Well, again, you need the gradient and a point through which the normal is passing. Point is the same, okay? It's the same point through which the normal is passing. What's missing is the gradient. Now, how do you find out the gradient of a line? Let's say you, you're given the gradient of a line and you wish to find out the gradient of a certain line, which is perpendicular to that line. What do you do? You simply take the negative reciprocal, okay? So that means everything's gonna remain the same, y minus y1 except that you will now do the negative reciprocal of the gradient of tangent into x minus x1. And why are we doing this? Because remember that the gradient of normal, mn basically means gradient of normal, is equal to minus one over the gradient of tangent, okay? So this right here is the equation of normal, okay? Now, if you've understood this, that's brilliant. If you haven't, nothing to worry about because I have you covered and we're gonna, let's say, cement the missing part of the concept with the help of this example, inshallah. Okay, so you are given the equation of the curve and that is y equals to three x squared minus x. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna make a differentiation ready as always. So I'm gonna rewrite this as eight x to the power minus one. Now we find the dy by dx of it. So that's equal to three into two. So that's six uh, x minus one. Now this is where I want you to be a bit careful. Minus one into eight plus eight is gonna become minus eight, x to the power minus two, because you take one away from the power. And directly what I would prefer is that, I would prefer to write it as a minus eight upon x squared, okay? Now, where exactly do I have to find out the equation of, uh, I think I didn't read the question, okay. So something I always advise my students to do and I'm not following my own advice, so let's do that. It says find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve y equals to three x squared minus eight plus eight upon x at the point where x equals to two. So you can see that you're given just the x coordinate, okay? Now make a, make a mental note of that. You're only given the x coordinate. What exactly are we gonna do to find the y coordinate, okay? So the value of x is equal to two. And that's the value that we're gonna plug in in dy by dx. So if you do that, that means six into two minus one minus eight over two squared. Okay, let's see what do we have. So six into two is 12 minus one and minus eight upon four. So minus eight upon four basically means minus two. Yeah, so that's correct. 12 minus one is 11, 11 minus two is nine. So that means that the gradient of tangent is nine, okay? Now remember, we have the x coordinate, but we don't have the y coordinate. And how do you find out the y coordinate? Well, you simply plug the value of x in the original equation, that's the equation of the curve, to find the y coordinate. Okay, so two squared is four, four times three is 12, minus two plus four. So 12 plus four is 16, 16 minus two is 14. And now you have the y coordinate also. So you have the gradient and you have the point, you're checking both the boxes. That means you now have enough information to find out the gradient, the equation of the tangent as well as the normal, okay? So let's find out using this, y minus y1 equals to m 
x minus x1. So for the tangent, y minus 14 equals to, remember this is for tangent, okay? So y minus 14 is equals to nine into x minus two, okay? This, of course, we can simplify. y minus 14 is equals to nine x minus 18. Nine into two is 18. So that means y is equals to nine x minus four is your equation of tangent, okay? Now let's talk about normal. So we will obviously use the same method that is y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. But of course, the difference is that the y coordinate will remain the same. The gradient is going to make all the difference. Okay, So the gradient is going to be minus 1 over 9. Because as you can see that the gradient of tangent is 9, that means the gradient of normal is going to be the negative reciprocal of 9, which is minus 1 over 9 Okay, into x minus 2. There you go. Now this of course requires a bit more simplification. So 14 times nine, let's see what that is. That's 126 equals to minus X plus two. Let's write this nicely. Nine Y equals to minus X plus 128 since that's what two plus 126 is. And there you go, that's it. That's your final answer. We now have not only the equation of tangent but we also have the equation of normal. So that's it for this video. I hope you've understood the concept of equation of tangent and normal. I will be doing some more questions, but that I will do in the next video, inshallah. Okay, in fact, questions from this point onwards, questions are going to get more and more complex. Okay, so I hope you're mentally prepared for that. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.